Hello everyone and welcome back. Today's tutorial is a very short one, but a very important one. Because today we are talking about the parallel nodes and the layer nodes. How do they work and how do we have to apply them? So let me show you. If we press Alt S, we are going to create a serial node, the most common node that you're going to use within your note editor. And correction that you are doing in the first node is being fed to the second node, then you add, add a different correction and everything is being fed to the third node, so on and so forth. It is pretty straight forward. But we also have an option to create a layer node or a parallel node. Let's talk about the parallel node first. In order to create a parallel node, you can right click in here, add node, add parallel node, and it's going to create a layer mixer and add a parallel node to the node that you have selected. You can do that by pressing Alt B as well. And you can press it actually many, many, many times. It is going to create as many parallel nodes as you want. Why would you want to create a parallel node? And how do they work? Parallel nodes are going to combine all of the correction that you have made to them at the same time. This is the graph that is presented by DaVinci Resolve Manual. And this picture is going to show us what is going to happen once you've added parallel nodes. All of the corrections that you have made will be added. They will intersect. They will work at the same time. And why it is useful and when? It is useful if you want to change several colors within your scene. For example, uh, we are going to go to hue versus hue. We want to change the green color to something like this. Let's go to the second note. We want to change the blue color to something like this. And we want to change like I don't know, red color to something like this. We've made these corrections all at the same time and all of them are combined in the same image. Why would you use a layer mixer and parallel nodes when you can just use zero nodes. You see, when you're using zero nodes, the color that you have changed will be fed to the next node. And in this particular instance, the only thing that is being fed to all of them is the original image. So we're feeding the original image to all of the nodes, and then we're changing the original color to the color that we want to the new one. And only then we are creating a serial node and continue our color grade, knowing that all of these colors uh, are received from the original image and changed to a new color. So this is how we would use a parallel node. But the same looking thing, but works completely different if you create a layer node. To create a layer node, you can right click on the node, add node, add a layer node or you can Alt L, press Alt L to create layer node. Layer nodes work completely different from the parallel nodes. And we are going to view that in the DaVinci Resolve manual. Now, this picture is completely different from the previous one because the lower the node, the more important it is. It is going to be laid on top of the previous one. So this one is laid on top of this one and all of them are laid on top of this one. So they are not mixed. This color is dominant. It is going to be on top of, of all of the colors. This circle is second and this circle is third. So this is completely different effect compared to the parallel node. And how would you use that? This is, I'm going to show you the most common use for the layer node. The most common use is to key, qualify the skin. So the original image is being fed to both of these nodes. We are going to select the lower node in order to preserve the thing that we want to preserve. Let's go to qualifier and let's select the skin. Shift H, let's... I'm not going to do a really good job because this is not the point. All I want to do is to show you what is going to happen. Per filter something like this. Shift H to disable that. Now we are going to go to the top node and change the overall color to the blue one. 
And we can see that the bottom selection is being laid on top of the correction that we have made later. It means that the original color of the skin is preserved in here, despite the ridiculous bluish tint of the whole image. So this is pr probably the best way how you can preserve skin color of the original image and introduce some crazy color grade to the rest of the image. So this is a layer node and this is a layer mixer. By the way, you can change the composite type of the layer mixer. For example, composite type, soft light, and the effect will be completely different. So remember that. If something is not working the way it's supposed to, check that the layer mixer composite type is set to normal or to whatever you really want to. So I told you it, it was going to be a really quick tutorial. So thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.